everyone. Today, I will be introducing static web apps with the Jamstack. Before I begin my talk, by a raise of hands, how many of you have implemented the Jamstack before? A fair number of you. How many of you have used GraphQL before? And how many of you have heard or used Gatsby JS before? A lot of you. In this case, I'll skim over the definitions and dive more into implementation details. My name is Christina Yu. I'm on the Web Platform Engineering Innovations team at PayPal. Today, I will be talking about how we consider the Jamstack, which stands for JavaScript APIs and markup. Um, it's a term coined by Matthias Billman a few years ago, the founder of Netlify. Then I'll be looking at two PayPal um, apps as case studies to showcase some of the benefits as well as challenges we have encountered. Let's rewind a bit in history. In 2012, the introduction of Node.js at PayPal heralded a first renaissance. Previously, developers for the browser using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript were separate from those who worked on the application layer as Java developers. Imagine having to link together two pages. Previously, as a UI developer, I would have to talk to my Java engineer to do that. But with the introduction of Node.js, the JavaScript full stack developer was born. Trialing this on several apps at first, we found developer productivity and performance to improve significantly. We were able to build apps twice as fast with fewer people in Node.js, write less code, and serve fewer files. In terms of performance, these apps could handle twice as many requests per second with decrease in response time. However, as Node scaled, we ran into some serious pain points. On one hand, deployments were really slow. Who here has used the Send Money PayPal app before? Not very many of you, but um, it's one of our, our more popular apps. Um, it takes three to four hours to deploy over 400 servers in five data centers. In terms of UI developer experience, we found that UI developers were only spending one third of their time on UI. Two thirds of their time was spent on figuring out how and where to fetch data. Instead, UI developers wanted to hone their design skills, look at the latest customer perceived latency reduction techniques, and focus on delivering an awesome user developer experience. This is where the Jamstack comes in. Standing for JavaScript APIs and markup, the main difference with this approach from the traditional approach is the line of abstraction between UI development and API development. As a UI developer, I could build my app using a site generator into markup, push it up to the CDN, and serve it directly to clients. The results of this approach are static apps. These are fully featured web apps primarily powered by static assets. Static here does not mean that these apps lack interactivity at all. Static here just refers to the way these apps are powered, served, and built. Let's look at our first case study. Checkout, PayPal Checkout handles 50% of PayPal revenue. This year, we moved from a monolith to a more Jamstack-like approach resulting in a 4x improvement in performance, at least in most geographies. In the light version, um, the Jamstack-like version of the app, in terms of JavaScript, we did optimizations like code splitting and progressive rendering. In terms of API, we adopted GraphQL. So previously, developers had to orchestrate between 25 different services, remove 90% of responses, figure out what each service exposes, transform the data, and so on. Now, with GraphQL, they can query for exactly what they need. And in terms of deployment, static assets served directly from the CDN means that we can deploy in minutes daily. 
instead of only doing a full rollout bi-weekly, which, and which took hours, this allowed for much faster iteration and testing. Then we thought, how could we scale this so that more developers at PayPal can consider a Jamstack-like approach? This is where the Gatsby JS framework, which a lot of you in this room are familiar with, came in. Gatsby is a React-based static site generator that's tightly coupled with GraphQL. It has a lot of performance optimizations built in, like the prefetching of URLs, lazy loading of images, and so on. We decided to try it out on the PayPal Me app, which requires authentication. So it's more representative of most of the apps we develop at PayPal. As we speak, we're running an initial A-B test with 1% live traffic. As you can see, the general idea is to render as much static content upfront as possible. You can see that the time to interactive and blank screen time has significantly decreased. In this initial A-B test, there's a 35% improvement across most performance metrics. Now to talk about developer experience. We wanted to figure out how easy or hard it is for our present developers to adopt this technology. So we ran a pilot program consisting of two workshops, one demo day, um, and one talk. The co-founders of Gatsby came in for most of these events. At the end of them, we gave PayPal developers a survey. And they told us that um, building with modern tools like Webpack, um, React, GraphQL, being productive from the start, and the performance optimizations that are effective and um, usable right out of the box were the most important Gatsby benefits. More importantly, developers at PayPal, most of which were not familiar with Gatsby or never used GraphQL before, but were very good with React, they expected to be productive in one to three weeks. So as you can see, with the right infrastructure in place, a Jamstack-like approach is definitely feasible. However, at PayPal, our reliance on middleware, um, present deployment infrastructure, and untapped CDN potential prevent a full adoption of the Jamstack at the moment. We rely on middleware right now to do functions like authentication. So in the two apps I demonstrated, we still called for the need of a lightweight server. We will have to evolve our platform infrastructure and deployment processes to accommodate. Finally, we will need more advanced CDN and edge compute capabilities to realize the full benefits. Gatsby may be able to generate hundreds of static files for us, which we can load onto our CDN. But without the full ability to run JavaScript on the edge, it's difficult for us to determine which files to serve to which users. With enhanced edge capabilities, we will we'll be able to route logic for faster redirects, improve performance, and further decouple from our servers. To leave you with three takeaways, static apps can be interactive. The Jamstack can bring benefits to developer productivity and performance. However, I would first consider how to render dynamic server-side features, as well as our CDN and edge capabilities. Finally, we're hiring, so come jam with us. We have various openings on our web platform engineering and GraphQL team. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or tweet at me. Thank you very much.